Good afternoon guys, today we're off to watch the worst rated FIFA team in real life to find out if they are actually really that bad. To be honest, to even make it onto FIFA is quite an achievement because there are plenty of teams that aren't even on FIFA, so just to make it on there is an achievement in itself I'd say. I'm here to check out UCD, which is actually University College Dublin. The team is part of League of Ireland and they have actually been relegated down to the first division. There's only two divisions in Ireland, you've got the Premier Division which they were in until last year and then you've got the first division which they've just been relegated down to. Right guys, I have arrived in non-stereotypical fashion. I am early. And by early, I mean I'm like an hour and a half early. I don't think I'm, I can get actually into the bowl to actually see the pitch before the game. I think I might have just seen two UCD players going into the bowl. I don't know. I don't know if it was actually them. But I've also found some like friendly football, I think. Or they're warming up. I don't know. But I found some football pitches. So let's go have a look. I'm just stood here watching, I presume it's just football practice for the uni. I don't know if it's actually related to UCD, the actual like professional football part of the uni, but it's such a nice place. Like it just is such like a chill vibe. They've got so many pitches, hockey pitches, just all like so many sports facilities. This is making me miss being at uni, I can't lie. Maybe I'll just go back and do my masters just for the, oh, uni life. A fun fact about UCD is it's actually one of the top universities in the world, ranked in the top 1% globally, which is insane. That means it's one of the best universities in the world. And it's only got an acceptance rate of 20%, which means it's actually really difficult to get into this university. It's Ireland's largest and one of the most prestigious universities in Europe. They've actually got incredible sports facilities and they're the only Irish university competing in both major Irish leagues for football and rugby. Okay, it is seven o'clock now and I'm gonna head over to the pitch and see if I can possibly get in and get a ticket because kickoff is at 7 45 so it's only like 45 minutes until kickoff now it's a reasonable amount of time to be able to go in and get tickets so i'm gonna go try i'm gonna go see if the gates are open whether i can get a ticket also find out how much tickets are but yeah i'm gonna head over to the pitches now and go and try and get in and hopefully it's open now because we've only got 45 minutes but i'm excited it's gonna feel like a lot more intimate it's literally university sport i feel like it's gonna feel like a varsity game but we'll see i will keep you updated and let you know whether I manage to get in. Okay guys, it looks like the ticket shop is open, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but it looks fairly... Oh, the gates are open. Does that mean the tickets are open? I've got my ticket, it was 15 euros. At least I can now just sit and watch the players warm up. I don't know if both teams are actually even here yet, but there is a few players warming up. There's not very many seats. I but don't think there's like a home and away side, but the pitch actually looks really good, I can't lie. 15 euros, so cheap. That's like what, 10 quid, 12 quid? Very, very cheap. But then again, it does feel like a university game, but this is the Irish, essentially championship. Like this is the second division. They've only got two, Two leagues. I'm going to explain to you a little bit about how the League of Ireland works because it is slightly different. So the first division consists of 10 teams who each play each other four times, not twice. So they play twice at home and twice away. This means there's a total of 36 matches. The team that finishes first in the first division instantly gets promoted to Premier Division and the team that comes last in Premier Division gets relegated to the first division. Now, this is where it gets a little bit complicated. Now the teams that finish between second and fifth place in the first division will have playoffs and then the winner of those playoffs actually plays ninth place in the Premier Division. Are you following? <laughs> so whoever wins the playoffs between second and fifth plays ninth place. Whoever wins that decides who stays up and who goes down. It's really interesting. It gives teams so much more of a chance. The League of Ireland season actually runs from February to October, which is so weird because <laughs> most seasons obviously go from about August to May, June time. So it is very out of the ordinary, very, very different to most of the world, to be honest, and most of Europe. UCD has actually started off the season pretty well. Looking at the table, they are actually sat in second place already. And it has been a few months. They've won four out of their last five games, which is pretty good if you ask me. Today they're facing Finn Harps, who actually got relegated the season before UCD did. So two years ago now, they actually got relegated when they were in a relegation battle with UCD. So when they got relegated, UCD could have been relegated, but they didn't. They managed to stay up, but then the next season, they actually went back down. So they both got relegated anyway. But I mean, they're sat in second. Maybe they'll get promoted again this season. 
you never know. Now, Finn Harps have actually lost three out of their last five games, so the chances are actually looking pretty good for UCD. <laughs> on paper, you never know on the day. The last time these two teams met, it was 1-1 draw, and Finn Harps were at home, and this time they're away, and they're having a worse season, so hopefully that will work out in UCD's favour. Do you know what? My prediction for this game is going to be 2-1 to UCD. I'm going to back the worst team on FIFA. I'm doing it. I'm backing them. They're having a good season so far. Right, guys, I have moved closer to the front and right in the middle because I was sat in front of a pillar and it was my way, so I've moved down here. It's about to kick off, so let's go UCD. Not a good start. Worst team on FIFA? Already 1 0 down in one minute. It is 1 1, and we're about 15 minutes into the game. And my score prediction was 2 1. I think we're going to see a lot more goals. I think we're going to see a lot more goals. It's been very end to end. So it's been a good game. It's been a good game. teas, coffees, and then like chocolate bars. So I got myself a bottle of water and a Kit Kat, which is fine. I only need a snack. Um, and it cost me five euros, 15, which is, I feel, I feel like that's quite a lot for a bottle of water and a chocolate bar, but it is 2-1 to Finn Harps currently. But I do think UCD have been the best side. I do think they have, and I think they can pull it back, hopefully. But we'll see, we shall see. All right, second half is about to kick off. Let's hope that UCD can pull it back.
Problem. The Narcs have got a penalty. It is very near the end of the game. I actually don't know what minutes are, but they have a pen. It could go 3 2. Oh my god. Like I didn't, was not expecting much at all from that game. But wow, it was really good. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it at all. It was really good. You know what, this has made me want to go to like more lower league teams in England because I feel like it'll be a similar vibe. Or even just like Sunday league. <laughs> like it's so, it's so nice to have like such an intimate feeling. And I think a lot of the people there were like, were friends and family rather than like, fans i don't know all the people around me seem to be friends and family oh, they need more fans because like it was such a great experience and it was really cool as well the drums the little there was a group of little ucd lads who had a drum and were banging the whole game it reminded me of germany but yeah such a good good experience they actually weren't that bad either it was a really good game of football i don't know if it's because they're both on a very similar level but the football wasn't that bad it wasn't that bad considering they're the worst team on fifa i had a great time i thought they did brilliant i think 3-3 three, three is deserved for both teams they both played really well but yeah if you're in ireland go see a league of ireland game and get their numbers up buy a ticket because it was a really good experience really good experience i want to research why it's not so big here so that might be my next video but i will see you in the next video